So good morning, Kurt Olson. I understand you've got a Dave's Killer Bread story. Craig, it's a lifesaver. Last Thursday, I was returning to the office and I was on my way over to the parking garage. And as I approached the entrance, I saw a vehicle drive over a baby sparrow, obviously just recently fallen out of a nest, probably a few days premature. As the vehicle passed over it, the poor little thing went rolling and rolling and rolling. Another vehicle went over it and it went rolling. I pulled over as fast as I could, soft-hearted guy that I am, and I rescued the poor little thing. Can you point out to me where, where, where you saw the bird? From, where, where Absolutely. It it's right down over here on Stevens. And you can probably see the blue awning for the Beacons Cleaners right before the entrance to the City Ramp parking garage. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it was right down there is where you saw it. And the, yeah, the, the cars were going rolling, over it. Rolling, okay. rolling. And so you saw the bird a rolling. And then, then what'd you do? Well, I got out, uh, stopped. Fortunately, uh, no STA buses were uh, coming up on my backside. That could have been uh, uh -huh. catastrophic. Yeah. And uh, picked up the poor little guy, and obviously, if I can catch him, he wasn't ready to be <laughs> flying yet. So I picked him up. I had a shoebox in my trunk, put him in there, brought him here in the office. Okay. And unfortunately, he had to spend a few hours in there until he got back <laughs> home. Was he chirping? Uh, squeaking a little bit. Uh -huh. I guess you'd call it chirping. Yeah. yeah. A little bit of noise. You could okay. hear him scratching around. Yeah. Okay. So then what'd you do? Well, that's the challenge. I got home and I'm thinking, what am I going to do with this bird? Uh, I have a lot of bird feeders and uh, various kinds of seeds that uh, I put in there. But this one's a little baby one and I wasn't sure. So I thought about it and I went, well, I need some moisture too. I'll try some bread. Grabbed a piece of Dave's Killer Bread. Can I see the label on that? Absolutely. So this is Dave's Killer Bread. It says good seed, so... That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. It's got bread, it's got seed, everything you want to give a bird. Can we take a look at a piece? See Absolutely. What, see what your bird was uh, faced with in its box? I took a piece of that wholesome, hearty, okay. nutty, yummy bread. Oh yeah. Look at that. Okay. That does look yummy. I took about okay. a quarter slice, Yeah. put it in a little bowl, poured some water on it. At this time now he was in a big box, no longer a shoe box. Okay. And uh, left him there and all was quiet and a few hours later I hear some scratching and scratching and scratching and I went over to look and the bread's almost gone. <laughs> so I'm thinking we're on to something. Yeah. So I gave him some more and the next yeah. morning it was gone and uh, the little guy went through about a piece and a half over the next four days. No kidding. Yes. This is a hungry He's little a hungry. bird. And again, this was a big box and there was just a little opening in the top. Yeah. And, and he, what kind of a bird was it, you think? I believe it was a sparrow. A little sparrow, okay. Yeah. Anyway, he flew out. And I have two border collies and I thought we had a sad ending to the story. <laughs> but I heard yeah. some scratching behind the dog food bag and okay. there he was. So I put him back in the box. Yeah. He ate some more bread. <laughs> the next day he flew out again. Yeah. And I found it behind the stereo. Okay. <laughs> Put him back in again. And the next day he was, but all this time he keeps eating bread. Okay. And doing things in the bottom of the box that I won't mention on camera. Sure. The next day he's out again. At this point I figured out the dogs are not eating him. So I figure eventually I'll hear some scratching noises and find out where he is. And about 20 minutes later, he flew from a closet over to a picture. Okay. At this point, I think you're ready to go. Buddy. He's got wings. You've got wings. You've been eating something good and healthy and grown strong. So I managed to capture him. He really put up a fuss about that. Ah, uh, yeah. Took him outside. And the last I saw, he was about 30 feet up in a pine tree. Oh, sweet.